Hey yo, salute to all my subscribers. Shout out to everybody else passing through. YouTube, what's good? So I'm back again with another one um, for the channel. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um, let's keep this channel going. Let's get my subscriber base where it needs to be. Um, so if you're looking at the the headline right now for this uh, for this little piece right here that I decided to do, um, then clearly y'all can see that there's some fuck shit going on. So. The uh, CBO, which is the Congressional Budget Office, um, a nonpartisan group of budget analysts and economists, just did a recent uh, budget analysis. And in their assessment, they're estimating that if Trump gets what he wants and he's able to push his plan through to basically re repeal and replace Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act um, that President Obama was able to pass during his administration, um, if Trump's able to push this through, um, they're estimating that about 14 million people will lose uh, insurance coverage in 2018. That's ridiculous. And it gets worse than that, too. They're also estimating that if that happens, that by the year 2026, that there will be uh, roughly 54 million people who will not have coverage. And here's the problem, you know, for everybody, you know, who all Republicans and everybody on the right who did not like Obama, didn't like what he was trying to do, you know, didn't really support anything about his presidency and definitely didn't like uh, the fact that he was, you know, pushing health care through. And that was his, you know, his kind of uh, his his pet thing, you know, for his presidency, you know, his big accomplishment that he could hang his hat and his legacy on for everybody who didn't agree with it and everybody who didn't like it. The problem here, if Trump pushes this thing through is. Not just the fact that millions of people are going to lose uh, 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 health care coverage. You know, these are real people. This is not just about what y'all didn't like. And this is not just about Trump trying to destroy Obama's legacy just so that they could take his name off the history books and replace it with something that they can call their own. Because regardless of what anybody thinks, history has already written itself and the whole world is already going to know going forward that, uh, you know, Obama achieved what no other president has been able to achieve and pushing this health care through um, during his administration. All Trump and his administration is doing now is just is just screwing taxpaying citizens out of their right to have health care coverage. Um, you know, we're living in a time where, you know, the baby boomers are pretty much retired for the most part. And you got the Generation X uh, population who rapidly nearing retirement and you know, unfortunately, it's just a part of life. The older you get, the less healthy you, you become. It, it just is what it is, you know, and, and it's not a good time for these generations uh, to be on the verge of losing their health care coverage. There's so many people who, uh, you know, didn't have coverage before because of pre-existing conditions and a whole myriad of other uh, uh, loopholes that was in the, the, the health care industry. You know, that's been able to have coverage for the past few years now. And these people could potentially lose their, you know, their coverage. They could lose their their coverages for their prescription medications and things like that. You have in and a lot of states, too, you have some of these insurance companies pulling out of the 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 networks that were set up because they see, you know, what's coming down the line. And they're seeing that this administration is already starting to dismantle um, um, this health care plan that was put into effect. And it's just for for people who don't like the person who was in office, for people who don't like, you know, may not like what that person stood for, or even for the people who were racist and just didn't like that it was coming from who it was coming from. People have to understand, you know, all of my fellow Americans have to understand that these are real people who are being affected. These are real people. These are grandparents. These are husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, nieces, daughters, sons. These are real people who are going to be affected and the government doesn't care that these people end up on their deathbed. The government doesn't care how many of these people could potentially die because they don't have, you know, they won't have coverage next year. And this is all because people decided to either go to sleep during the election and not go out and vote, you know, just because people didn't like the, the choices they have for, for, for candidates. You know, it's like everybody who, who said, well, I don't like Trump. I don't like Hillary either. And so they didn't go to the polls. And now the problem with that is that, you know, the, the person who was the lesser of the two evils, 
who would have won if everybody went out and just voted for the lesser of the two evils, which would have been Hillary, because people decided not to do that. Um, we get the worst of the worst. And now this country is going to be all of the progress that we've made over the past eight years and basically coming back from the brink of another Great Depression. Um, this country is, gonna, is potentially going to be worse off in four years and hopefully not eight if Trump's reelected, which I hope and don't think that he will be. And I hope he won't be. Um, this country is going to be, you know, if not back to where we started. So the last eight years would have been for nothing, but potentially even worse off. You cannot have a nation be a strong nation, be, you know, uh, uh, everything that that nation is supposed to be or that has been in the past. When the citizens of that nation, of that country, are sick and don't have health care coverage and, and can't, you know, be confident that if something happens to them or their children or a loved one, if they get sick, that they'll be able to go and, and get uh, care and get treatment. And not only that, it's the education program, it's it's taxes, it's everything. So I just stopped due to talk about that real quick because, I, you know, I came across on my, uh, I came across on my, uh, on my news updates and I just wanted to go in real quick about that. And y'all got, you know what, people anybody who might have a negative comment for this uh for this little piece here, um, y'all got nobody to blame but yourselves. I don't care what your retorts are if you're a Trump supporter. I don't care what you what, what you people when you, you try to lash out and say, well Obama was this and Obama was that and Trump's this, regardless, it doesn't matter. I don't care about the person, the individual, I don't care. I care about the millions of people who will not have coverage. I care about the millions of people who have worked their whole lives, paid their taxes, and now the government's basically saying, you know, it is what it is. You know, the government, just like the citizens are responsible to pay their taxes and to make sure that, you know, the country is able to sustain itself. Well, the country is also responsible for making sure that its citizens are healthy and that we have the proper safety nets in place. And when we do what we're supposed to do as citizens and we pay our taxes and we are productive citizens, um, the government is supposed to make sure that there are things in place to protect us uh, when, you know, things happen. And, you know, I'm not I'm I, it's been a long time, if ever, that we've actually seen that from the government, you know, a, a system that really cares. But at the very at the very least, you know, let's not go backwards. And that's what we're doing, and it's only going to get worse. Let me know what y'all think, man. Comment, like, subscribe. I don't pretend to know everything. I just know what I know. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace and love.